Welcome to another new video of interesting math problem on our channel Math Solutions for You. Please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If a and b are two non-negative integers such that 3a plus 4b is equal to 12, what is the maximum possible value of a square plus b square? Now we are given this constraint 3a plus 4b is equal to 12. But then there is another constraint which applies to a and b, which is that these are non-negative integers. And non-negative integers means that a and b can take integer values starting from 0 or greater than 0. So... If you look at this constraint, the linear constraint that's given 3a plus 4b equal to 12, and uh, let me start with the variable b because that has got a larger coefficient, though it doesn't simply matter in this case. If you start with the variable a and follow the same approach, uh, that will also be a correct uh, way to, to get to the solution. But let me just start with the variable b. Now, one thing that we note is that the variable b cannot take any value greater than 3 because if if you consider the next higher integer value after 3 which is 4 for that value 4b becomes 16 and if 4b is 16 then for 3a plus 4b equal to 12 to be satisfied, that will make A a negative quantity, right? So, so we know that A and B both are non-negative. So, so, so that clearly rules out any va integer values greater than four for or greater than three for the variable B. So, the greatest integer value that B can take is three, and if we plug in b equal to 3 in this equation, 3a plus 4b equal to 12, and solve for a, we get a equal to 0. And for this, a square plus b square turns out to be 9. But we have to test out more values. So, so what about if b equal to 2? So again, we plug in b equal to 2 in the equation, and we solve for a, and we get a equal to 4 by 3. It's not an integer. So this is not an allowable set. Next, we try b equal to 1. And again, we plug in that equation, we get a equal to 8 by 3. Again, it's not an integer, right? So that's not allowed. And finally, we have one more value that we can test for b, and that's b equal to 0. And if we plug b equal to 0, we get a equal to 4. And for this, a square plus b square equal to 16. So we have pretty much exhausted all possible sets of values that b can take, and we also solve for corresponding values of a in the process. And it seems like there are only two sets of values that will allow a and b to be non-negative integers, and at the same time satisfy the constraint that's given in terms of 3a plus 4 b equal to 12. And for those two sets of values, the value of a square plus b square is 9 in one case and 16 in the other case. So the solution is pretty easy. The maximum possible value of a square plus b square will be 16, which is option C.